Folks, which is better, a box blade or a lamp plane? What are you gonna choose? Well, no longer do you need to struggle with this decision because now there's a product called the box plane. Folks, if you love being one of the first to see these new innovations, then take five seconds, press pause, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment too. But if you're in the market for a tractor attachment, we want to help you out as well. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. Oh, and don't forget the merchandise too. If you're looking for a hat, a sweatshirt, a gift for Christmas or a birthday, well, we sell that too. We donate all the profits to charity. We don't keep any of it for ourselves. Folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. So excited to try this out today. This is the box plan gonna be offered by Summit Tractor. Now you're looking at a prototype right now, technically, but I, I think this is pretty production representative. If anything, it's only gonna get better. But uh, this is a unique product, patent pending, okay? Made in America, a lot of good things about it. This gate right here is the secret to all this magic. And it goes from a lamp plane, hence the name box plane, Okay, you got the lamp plane and the box blade kind of combined into one and you can drop this gate down pull large amounts of material if you want to that's more like what a box blade does or you can push you got a rear blade here too or lift this gate up like how we used it today and it becomes more like a lamp plane and and you can grade out a gravel driveway you know we had a big hump here from when uh, the last couple of loads of gravel got dropped off and i just I kind of had just quickly smoothed it out enough and never got around to really final grading it. And that's what I tackled today is that final grade. And this worked amazingly well. And to be honest, I was actually shocked at how well it worked for a couple of reasons. Number one, this is 60 inches wide on the 25 horsepower Summit TX25. And 
I kind of thought it was going to be too big for it, to be perfectly honest with you. I thought um, maybe a 48 or 54 or something would be a better match, but this worked really good uh, for this application here. Now it is December and so our, our gravel is not perfectly dry. Um, there were times when it was spilling over nice and consistently. There were other times where it kind of clumped up a little bit. When I started to dig down into the really big hump that I was trying to smooth out, it was a little bit wetter there and it clumped up a little bit more and trapped more debris. And um, Either way, it, you just adjust your speed to to match and, and you can kind of tell. You listen to your tractor. Always listen to that engine, the amount of strain that it has going on to, to kind of speed up, slow down, maybe raise up, lower down, whatever you got to do on the three point and just keep that consistency going. And now of course we had no need for the scarifiers, these big shanks here today. So we had them up in the just kind of the storage position, but they're going to have like a traditional box blade, three different positions, three holes in those blades. So you, if you have them 180 degrees and you want to dig down and rip through some stuff, maybe some hard packs, say you have an old gravel driver with big old ruts and washouts and potholes and all that. Well, you want to use these shanks right here to dig down through those and kind of rip all the way down there, loosen all that up and, and, and just, it's going to be a project, right? But that's what a tool like this is for, to go through and resurface the whole thing and get it back in good shape. And then you have the tool like this right here to maintain it. And you get a newer driveway like what we have here. This is, um, uh, four or five months old, something like that. Then you stay on top of it, just run your plane over it a few times a year, you're good to go. And so actually about a year ago this time, we had the very first prototype of the box plane and out at our other property, or that way, out at Richland, we used the shanks, did some rip in, did all sorts of stuff on our driveway out there. Again, <laughs> time of year, not ideal, but we're doing what we can with the conditions. Now the magic of this entire design, well, a good chunk of it anyways, is in this uh, this movement mechanism. What do you want to call it? I don't know. Right there, just like that, okay? It lowers the backside down, closes off the backside, makes it like a traditional box blade. Reverse that process, just like that. Put the pin back in, just kind of like a retainer pin. Kind of keeps it locked in place so it can't go anywhere. And you're in land plane mode. Okay, so as well as that worked, you're actually gonna see a few holes in either side where there's a position to put another blade in here. So you think about a land plane, it's got two rows of blades on there, and this worked really well with just the one blade. You put a second blade in here, that really kind of helps keep things shuffling along and not building up as much, and that could improve things even more. Not sure if that's gonna be standard or an option or how that's gonna shake out, but this is gonna be available, again, at Summit Tractor. I'm not gonna sell this. Goodworks Tractors is not gonna sell this. You go to Summit Tractor's uh, website, just like the Grapple and all other products that they're gonna have coming out. I'm just lucky enough to be one of the first to play around with it. So folks, you know I'm a big fan of versatility. You now we've got the Versa Bracket coming up with those Versa Forks, all sorts of other things, so I love it. Absolutely love it, and this is another example of that. Just innovation at its finest. And again, it's made in America, that's hard to beat. Alrighty folks, that's gonna wrap it for us today. I appreciate you stopping by. Now we do sell all sorts of tractor attachments. So if you're looking for something for your front end loader for your three point hitch, we'd love to help you out. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. If you're not in the market for anything right now, well, how about you hit that subscribe button down below, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. We'd love to have you tag along. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.